The Lebanese Hezbollah resistance forces have conducted a string of strikes against Israeli military positions in the northern side of the 1948 occupied territories in retaliation for the brutal aggression against southern Lebanon. Lebanon's Al Mayadeen television news channel reported that Hezbollah fighters on Monday launched attacks on Israeli positions, including Al Reheb, Al Marj, Al Malkia, and the Ramim Barracks, the Zebdin Post in the occupied Sheba farms, and an army position in the village of Al Gajar in the Israeli occupied Golan Heights. Hezbollah said it targeted the Biranit barracks with a heavy caliber Birkin missile. Earlier in the day, a local Lebanese source said several people were killed and injured. When Israeli warplanes carried out airstrikes against the border towns of Nakura and Meis al Jabal in southern Lebanon, two houses were destroyed and several others damaged in the strikes in Nakura, the official national news agency reported. An unnamed source close to Hezbollah later told AFP news agency that at least four Hezbollah fighters were killed in Israeli raids on two different sites in southern Lebanon, identifying the locations as Nakura on the coast and Meis al Jabal, a border village to the east. The Israeli regime launched its devastating hostilities in the Gaza Strip on October 7th after the territory's Hamas-led Palestinian resistance groups carried out a surprise retaliatory attack, dubbed Operation Al-Aqsa Storm, against the occupying entity. The Israeli military has also been carrying out attacks against the Lebanese territory since then, prompting retaliatory strikes from Hezbollah in support of the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. The movement has vowed to keep up its retaliatory operations as long as the Tel Aviv regime continues its onslaught on Gaza. The Israeli campaign in Gaza has killed at least 35,562 people, most of them women and children. Another 79,652 individuals have also been wounded.